Hi, my name is Jordan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to become a web developer in five minutes. Is this even possible? Let's find out. So for this demo, you'll need a laptop or desktop computer and a web browser. So go ahead and navigate to glitch.com, which is a free service that allows you to create a website. So go ahead and click on sign up and click email magic link and type in your email address. So go ahead and do the I'm not a robot test. and click send a code. So make sure you read the terms of service and privacy statements before you continue. And glitch.com should have sent you an email with a link to log in. So I just heard the login or the uh, email alert there. So I'm going to navigate to my email and click the link that they send you. Okay, so that's it. We're logged into Glitch and we didn't even need a password. So to create our new website, we can click on new project and you'll want to click on find more and scroll to the part where it says basic website and click on blank version. Okay, so that's it. Glitch.com has set up our website for us. So we can see it by clicking on the preview tab down here and clicking preview in new window. And it's going to show you your beautiful new website, which is not that beautiful yet, but we will make it look better in a moment. So let's go back to our original tab here and let's click on preview again and open preview pane. So that's going to open a little preview of the website on the side here so that we can see how it looks as we're working on it. Okay, so Glitch has given us four files here for our website, and we actually only need two of these files. So we're going to work with index.html and style.css. So the way websites work is that they have two types of code, HTML and CSS. So HTML is the code that we use for the content and the structure of the site. So things like text, uh, images, structures like headings, navigation menus, etc. The CSS code is what controls the design of the site and the way it looks. So we will start with the HTML first. So let's go to index.html. And uh, just a word of warning that anything you put on this site uh, will be on the web for anyone to see. So just um, don't put anything that you don't want anyone to see, anything that might be sensitive. Uh, so now this code, it looks like a lot. Um, but you actually don't have to worry about most of what's here. So we're actually just going to focus on the part of the code from line 16 to line 29 here. So this is the body of the document that users will see when they visit your site. And you can see that the body starts with a body tag and also ends with a body tag. The end body tag has a slash in it, which tells you that that's the end of the body. So we are going to work inside the body tag here. We have an H1 tag, which again, starts with a start tag and ends with an end tag. And H1 stands for heading one, or the most important heading on the site. So you can go ahead and type something else in there, whatever you want. I'm just going to type first website. So the next part of the site we see here is this P element. And uh, P stands for paragraph in this context. You can see that we have a start P tag and an end P tag. And you can go ahead and type whatever you want in here. I'm just gonna type a little something about the WMDD website. Okay. Next, we have an A tag here. Um, and uh, in web development, the A tag actually represents a hyperlink. So you can click on this hyperlink to visit some other, other website. The part between the angle brackets here is the part that users will see and click on. So you, you can change that to something else. And the part in between the double quotes here is the actual URL or address 
that the link will link to. So for this, I'm going to type in the web address of the WMDD program homepage. Okay, so let's test this and see if it works. Uh, we can go to our tab here that we created earlier and uh, you'll have to refresh the page to see your changes, so go ahead and do that. And there it is. We've written some HTML and we can see it showing up on our website. Okay, so we should actually test this link to make sure it works. So let's click on it and we see that it takes us to our intended destination. So I'm going to go back and go back to my code editor here. And let's start working on the CSS code now in style.css. So this uh, CSS file is the code that actually controls the way the website looks. There's some code in here by default, but I'm just going to delete it and start from scratch. So the way CSS works is we start by typing the part of the website we want to change, which I'll, in this case, I'll start with the H1. And we can change its color. So I'm just going to change it to hot pink. And maybe we want to make the H1 a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change the font size and maybe set it to 400%. And if we go back to our preview tab here and refresh, we should see that change occur. Okay, so we've got our large pink title now. Uh, next thing we can do is maybe modify the paragraph, the paragraph element that we looked at earlier. And maybe we can just give it a background color. So I'll set the background color to aquamarine. And we will refresh our page to see that change. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we've used CSS to change the way our website looks. And that covers the basics of how to create a website. So of course, there's a lot more to learn. Um, there are lots of good resources on the web. I recommend MDN or Mozilla Developer Network. And uh, if you want to share this website with your friends, you can just send them this URL. This is the URL for your website and anyone can view your website using this address. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you're interested in learning more about web development, I hope you'll join us in the Langara web and mobile app design and development program.